Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Business Minute. I'm Sir, and here I'm joined with a special guest, Miss Monica Henry. How are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing today? No complaints on my end. Doing well, doing well. So, Miss Monica, if you don't mind, uh, tell us what it is that you do. Um, well, I own a um, competitive uh, cheer gym. Well, that's one of the things that I do. Um, I also have a performing arts business. And I'm also an actress. All right, all right, all right. Awesome. And uh, if I may ask, how long have you been active in these fields? Let's see. Um, the cheer gym, I've been doing that about, I'd say about seven years. Um, I've been active all my life, but I guess I'll say professionally, um, <laughs> I'd say around 19, 20 years old. And uh, my performing arts business, um, well, I've been doing performing arts all my life, but the business side of it, probably, um, probably about 22, 23 years. So oh. quite a quite a while. All right, all right, all right. Now that leads me to uh, our next question. Uh, what inspired you to get started in this particular uh, business, performing arts? Gotcha. Well, ever since I was young, I tell people all the time, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I was in the room wanting to do this, but <laughs> I remember being about four or five when I knew for sure that um, I was going to be in the performing arts business. I was going to be an actress. I was going to be a dancer. I was going to be performing in, you know, some, you know, form or fashion. It's just, I've always loved it. I was one of those kids who um, grew up just watching musicals and, you know, TV shows and dancing and singing. I was always, um, back then, making up dances around the house and mm. making my sisters do them with me, making my, you know, parents sit and watch. I was always creating skits, so... I was always, um, you know, playing with my dolls and making them do skits and dance. So it was just always inside of me. Like there was nothing else I've ever wanted to do. Um, when, you know, certain kids were saying, well, I want to be a doctor, a lawyer, this or that. It was always an action. There was never anything else I wanted to do. Okay, okay. And with growing up in this field, uh, were there any obstacles that you did encounter along the way? Well, um... It's definitely not something you can just say, hey, I want to do that, and then it happens, of mm -hmm. course. So, um, you know, many obstacles, you know, um, where I live, um, not having as many opportunities, you know. Um, so I, I guess I'd call those obstacles. You know, I could also say, hey, I'm where I am, you know, because I'm supposed to be at this place and at this time, and that's what I've come to realize. And I'm always wanting to be in the entertainment field and become an actress or, you know, be an actress. Um, that's how I got into, you know, teaching and having a performing arts business and starting dance schools and cheer gyms where I can, you know, I'm still, you know, doing choreography. I'm, I'm still working with kids and I'm still able to, you know, put those seeds into other young people. All right. All right. And uh, with the way you describe it, it does sound like a, a full-time activity. Uh, if I may ask, how do you manage to balance work and personal life? Um, I just I try the best I can. I tell you that. Mm -hmm. I will say this: I'm always open, no matter the you know time, day or night, to talk to anyone that I, I teach or that I mentor. Like, I, I mean, I really do feel like I was put on this earth to do that. So. Like, I wouldn't care if it's two or three in the morning. It's like, if someone needed me or, or needed to call me if a student you know, needs to reach me and talk, I'm definitely available. Um, I, you know, I am the boss, so I am able to, you know, make my own schedule. So I leave myself time, and you know, during the day or weekend to do things that I like to do as well. But um, I do always like to make sure that anyone I'm, um, I mentor or that I teach if they're able and they know they can come to me at any time. Uh, that's that's wonderful. Uh, I commend you on that. There's very few people that can say they're in a point of leadership and they're also a mentor with an open door policy as you you know you just described. So I really do commend you on that. So I want to ask, uh, with you uh, being a mentor, uh, what experiences uh, have you found to be the most memorable? 
the most memorable mm -hmm. is when I see um, little girls or little boys, um, they grow up and, you know, I'm able to say, hey, you know, I, I touched that girl's life, I touched that boy's life, mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've, you know, I've mentored quite a few, and just to see them succeed, to see them come back to me, I hear them tell me things that I've, I've said to them that changed their life. Um, I don't think there's anyone I've ever mentored that I'm still not in contact with. You know, they, they'll still call me, you know, they'll still ask for advice. And just the most memorable thing is just to see them doing well. To know, and it, and, and it goes back to when you're asking me about obstacles. Well, I feel like, you know, if I, was, I wasn't in that person's life at that, that point in time, then I wouldn't have been able to impart that certain thing in, in them. So really there, you know, there were no obstacles. I, I was where I was supposed to be, you know, to be able to touch that certain person. And um, those things are memorable. Those things make me happy. And I don't, I don't know what else I could have been doing at that certain time if I didn't, you know, meet that mentee, you know, if I wasn't mm -hmm. able to impart them. Okay, okay. Well, I, I also want to ask on the flip side of that question. Uh, at any point in time, did you feel that you wouldn't be successful in this business? And who or what changed your mind? Um, and I can actually say um, that that's a no. You mm. know, um, and even if, you know, I've never seen on like, you know, some super big, big stage or, you know, in a film or, or movie, I've always known it's what I'm supposed to do like just always there's there's nothing else I'll ever want to do there's nothing else I will ever do like I, I know it beyond the shadow of a doubt and it's just an inner knowing that I was going to grow up and be working in and doing what I've always wanted to do um it's just you know um I just always knew I mean I can't even put it into words no. you know waking up every morning with a purpose and being able to share that purpose with kids and just working in my field, you know, the art, dancing and singing, and, you know, athletics, just all that rolled into one. So, um, you know, I've always known that I would be able to walk in my calling. All right. I, I love that response. I love that answer. So thinking long term in this next question, mm -hmm. where would you like to see your business and yourself in mm -hmm. one year? three years, and 10 years? Well, in one year, I definitely like to see my business grow. Mm -hmm. I would like to see, um, you know, my business tripled and, or doubled, um, you know, with the kids coming there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just, I would love to be able to offer it, uh, you know, in just many other parts of town, um, being able to offer my services um, to kids who may not be able to afford it, you know, I would. My my main goal is to touch as many kids as possible with the talents that God has given me. So that's in one year. In three years, um, I hope that the business is doing so well that I can, you know, still be able to touch as many kids as possible and. To, that myself as well, that I can begin to pursue my acting career, um, you know, with a bit more force, because okay. I know things back home would be going well and everything is running smoothly. In 10 years, y'all need to be seeing me accepting my Oscar, or <laughs> not before 10 years. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Listen, yeah. there's nothing wrong with confidence and the dream. You know, yeah. it got you here this far, so... I, I would definitely love to see you on stage saying I interviewed her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So which brings me to my closing question. And this, you know, is definitely for anyone else listening. Uh, what words of encouragement would you have for anyone else out there who's just starting their own business or starting out with an idea? Awesome. I would say believe in yourself. Don't ever think anything is, is impossible. It can happen. If it's in you, then you can you can make it happen. Like there's the reason that an idea or thought or just something in the inside, the reason that it's there 
it's, be, it's because God wants you to do it. I mean, he, he wants you to. I mean, just try it. I mean, what what could happen? You fail at it, you know? Mm. But if, if you never did it, you know, you would never know. Mm. It's in there for a reason. You have to try. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith in that thing that was put in you. You just got to go for it, you know, because there is no excuse. You don't want to wake up 20 years from now wondering, you know, what if I had just tried that thing that time? So guess what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least you tried it. You know? So I just encourage everyone, you know, to get up, you know, and, and do that thing. You may you may fall down, you know, 18 times. Get back up. You just gotta keep trying it. And if it if it if it keeps just being in you, you just gotta keep trying. I mean, nothing's gonna be easy, especially when you're trying to do things on your own. You know, a lot of people don't have the backing. You know, you don't have the finances. You know. You're not going to have all that stuff, but you're going to have the faith, you're going to have the Lord, and you have to hold on to that. Mm. And you, you have to know it's going to happen, and that's the promise. Yes, ma'am. I, I love that. Do not let the the fear of fail you keep you from your dreams. I love it, Miss Henry. I love it. All right. Well, Miss Monica, it's been a pleasure uh, having you here on our show, telling your story. I really do appreciate it. Did you want to... Uh, you know, in case you have someone out there that may be listening who may be interested in visiting, you know, uh, the school, uh, would you like to, you know, uh, put it out there where you guys are located? Sure thing, sure thing. Well, Planet Cheer is located at 900 Schillinger Road South. Um, we are in the same building as Planet Fitness um, off Schillinger by the Super Target. Um, ages start from four and we go up, so from four and up. Um, and I would, I would love to have your child. We, we do uh, cheer and tumbling. Um, so, I mean, everything is offered there. And uh, I'd love to work with your child. Um, I do uh, private lessons. I do acting and theater coaching, uh, musical theater coaching. So pretty much anything involved in performing arts, I mm-hmm. got you covered. All right. Well, Miss Henry, again, thank you again for the opportunity. It's been a blessing to have you here. Uh, Thank you again.